Hello, good afternoon. Today we're gonna go through the installing process, not so much, but the general usage of voice meter. Voice meter is a software that is used for having a deeper control over your audio devices. Uh, what I mean by this is you have a total control over what is being used for what. But you need to know some things to make it to make it work properly. So the first thing to do is um, go to the uh, BB Audio uh, software web page. So you can just search it by voice meter anyway. And I think it's the first answer, yeah. So uh, what are, we are going through today is the version, the banana version. So there's three versions, voice meter, voice meter banana, and voice meter potato. Banana is just right in the middle. Uh, you have three microphones you can use. Uh, you have two devices you can play with, and you can use up to three speakerphones. Now, uh, voice meter, the base version, has similar, but is like a downgrade of it. And the potato, as you can imagine, is an upgraded, uh, upscaled version. But it's essentially the same. Banana has everything you need to know. So um, this is a freeware, so you can use it for free. You can download it for free, and it is recommended to make a donation. After all, if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't have it. You can you can download an installer, which is an .exe file, or you can download a zip file. So the zip file, you will need something to unpack it. Um, but that's the only difference. So you just download the installer, drop it on. As you can see, I already have it. You can drop it on your download folder, and that's it. To install it. As you can expect from a free software, you don't need a serial key or anything. So you can just click next, 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 finish. Um, I already have it, so I'm not going to install it again. But um, the main thing you need to do after finishing installing it is restart Windows because you are basically installing, um, you are installing an audio driver. All right. So once you have it, let me show you. Um, once you have it, you have something like this. But the default so, uh, settings do not look like this. They are going to be selected all into A1 and then all into B1. So let's let's go through the main stuff first. Um, voice meter is not going to be working right away. You need to select voice meter as your, devo as your default device on Windows. Now, Windows has two kinds of default devices. Windows is going to have a default device and a default communication device. Same happens for the recording and for the so input and output. Um, I don't remember exactly how does Windows names it. Anyway, the shortcut for getting there is to choose Windows and R for Romeo. Then, as you can see here, mmsys.cpl. So this is a control panel item, and this is the best way of controlling these devices. So now let's have a look on this. Um, I have a load of uh, devices, and what I have selected as default are voice meter input and auxiliary input. This checkbox mix means this is the default device, as you can see here, and then default communication device. So these two things are these two things. Yes, on playback, which means speakerphones, basically. Um, so this device, which is A1, uh, sorry, this device is um, just device number one, and this is device number two. Um, so this one is what I have selected as the default device. This is where the sounds from video games and uh, I don't know, browser and software, any kind of application is going to be coming out. And this is where the audio from calls and any type of communication. You can say, I don't know, Teams, uh, like, um, Microsoft Teams, Skype, Discord, whatever you want. 
Everything is coming out here. Then in recording, we are going to see this is the um, recording devices. So same here, output and auxiliar output. Those are going to be B1 and B2 respectively. So voice meter output, I have it selected as default device. And voice meter auxiliary output, you, uh, I have selected as default communication device. You can have both in one. You can select a single device. I put it as default. And then same here. You can select everything default into one device. You would be wasting the potential though. So see what you're going to be doing. Now, um, here you can see, now I have selected these A1, A2, and A3 devices, as you can see here, are the output devices. This is where my audio is coming out. The UMC AC driver I have selected here is um, from the um, is the audio interface I have selected for this microphone. But I don't have any speaker connected to it. So technically I can just mute it because no audio is coming out from there. But I need to have it selected there so I can I can do some magic with this microphone. Then I have um this is a speakerphone I have connected here, and then I have this headset, which is what I'm wearing right now. Then I have this microphone. This is this. And um it is coming out on B1 and B2. So it is coming out if it if I have an application that requires the use of voice, so such as a voice recording software or anything is gonna coming gonna be coming out on B1. And if I have a communication device, then it's gonna be coming on B2, such as so B2 is what's gonna be coming out on Discord, Teams, Skype, etc. Um, the normal process for selecting the devices is just clicking and then you have a drop down list. As you can see, there's a lot of different devices. Let's go with the microphone from my webcam, which is over there. So this is the Cybertruck H6. As you can see, there's several ones because there's MME devices, KS, WDM, and with the output as well, KS, MME. Um, I'm not going to go through what is the difference between each other. You can look look up for the documentation. Same with voice meter. There's documentation in the official web page. This is just an overview. So um, let's select Cybertruck H6. And now we have the microphone from my camera. As you can see, it is picking up some audio, but you are not hearing it. And that is because I don't have anything selected here. So. If I was to select any of these, the audio from the camera would be coming out on my speakers. So, for example, I think this thing is recording the audio from my desktop. So, let's see. Mm, here. Uh, doesn't seem to be doing it, though. Let's see. Hmm. Well, doesn't matter. The thing is, I can hear myself if I do this because I can. Uh, it is going through from the from the microphone to the A3, which is my headset. And then, if I select this, then I can mute this microphone, and it will record with the other one. We select B1, B2. And now we are recording with this microphone, which is a lower quality microphone. We can actually use both it's at the same time. So you can see the difference. Now, that will be all. You can control the, the volume individually on each device and on each recording device. And for now, I think that is indeed all. Um, I'm not going to go through more details. You have, you know, small control panels and there's a lot more you can do with this software. But the basics of it are these. Anything else would be um, going on specific topics, which we don't want to do now. 
Uh, if requested, I'm gonna be making another, maybe a set of videos with uh, going in depth for as long as I know what is needed to be done. But this is the basics of the basics for using voice meter. That will, cheers.